Hello and welcome to Challenger Life, to this very, very special episode where I start the Ireland way. I'm here in uh, Castletown Bear, uh, ready to take on the Ireland way. But first, I decided to check out the picturesque coastal town that is Castletown Bear. With its delicious seafoods, colourful shop fronts and friendly pubs. So I've got my pint, a bit of music playing in the background and I think I'm ready for the Ireland Way tomorrow. The first section of the Ireland Way takes in part of the Barra Way which is also the beginning of the Barra Brefney Way. For full description and information on the route check out my preparation video which you will find by clicking the card in the top corner. This section takes you from Castletown Bear to Cakel, but the first day will be spent trying to get past Hungry Hill on the way to Argoyle, 26 kilometers away. Lucky for me, I'll have way markers called Elvis to guide me. I didn't christen them that. That honor goes to Carl and Ellie, who are tough souls. Two wonderful hikers whose YouTube channel you should definitely check out. And so it was time to depart. I wasn't without nerves and trepidation. The clouds representing a cloudy mood. I stayed with an absolutely lovely woman, uh, Grace. Now, funnily enough, she did uh, angel cards for me now, uh, whether you believe them or not. Um, is up to you. Uh, I'd be uh, sceptical now. I have a quite scientific mind myself. It was quite interesting because uh, she, when she did them, it was quite, quite spooky. <laughs> quite spooky. She got a few things right, I think. I had a good conversation with Grace. She relaxed me, she, she informed me. She, she even got me accommodation for uh, Glengarve. So, uh, fair play to you, Grace. Thank you very much. first day of hiking was tough, but I had to push my body through these pain and mental barriers because this was going to be my life for the next 1,000 kilometers. As I rounded Hungry Hill, however, the clouds began to disperse, allowing the Barra Peninsula to be witnessed in all its glorious splendor. Bloody hell. Oh bloody hell. I made it. Hungry Hill Lodge. And uh I'm here. Oh, that was one hell of a day. Incredible scenery. But what a hell of a day. It's a really nice day at the Hungry Hill Lodge. Um I'd highly recommend it. a uh, really nice place. Uh, it's on the way. So if, as a first stop in Argoyle, I'd highly recommend it. You start take a couple of wrong turns and you start losing the uh, uh, faith you have in yourself to find uh, Elvis. Come on Elvis, where are you? And uh, it rattles you, it really rattles you. So just be careful, uh, guidebook keeps coming out, just making sure I'm uh, uh, found him in a very, very strange location there, hidden behind all the bushes. Oh, it's tough. Tough going this one. And some more to go. But at least it's leveling it out a bit as I'm heading into the mist. When you get to the top of the sugar loaves, you're treated to the gorgeous lock to Bermanaha. If, of course, you have a lovely sunny day. I, however, had this view. Sadly, no such rewards for my struggles. This leg of the journey, it's one foot in front of the other. 
it's you just kind of go you have to go into a zone where you're just not thinking one stick in front of you another stick follow with your feet oh. if you're doing the Ireland way and you get to the Sugarloaf Mountains you'll find there's nothing sweet about them once again the clouds began to give way a downhill journey to the valley below looked very inviting this has been a hell of a trek and there's more to go but uh just need to keep moving and oh. there's more bloody uphill with a bit more dogged determination i did make it down when i got to the bottom i passed the coomer came visitor center and campsite an ideal place to stop for the night if you're too tired for the last six kilometers to Glengariff. I, however, pushed on along the country lane and Glengariff Forest. I made it to Glengariff. You see up there, I made it. Uh, God, that was a killer. That was a killer of a journey. Last Elvis then again, after a bit of the way in the woods. But, um, oh, that was a killer. Got a call from Grace. Uh, who had the angel cards we stayed with the, the first night. God, I needed them today. Grit, determination, and Elvis, you're an awful kidder, hey. Time to get a pint, get some food, and get a nice rest. So it's the first day of the last stage, and um, yeah, pretty worried about my shoulders, just my body in general. It's also the first time the comp has to go on. I spent the night at Copper Beach House, where the lovely breeze picked me up and left me back to Glengariff. The final day of the bear section finds you pushing inland towards Kekel, and yes, although it looks like Keel Kill, the locals will soon correct you on this. So I've made it to Kilkeel, and my ice cream at Burke's shop, and I'm also going to get my stamp. So I made it, and I soon found myself in Collins' pub, a must if you're looking for good conversation and new friends. John Collins himself was there to tell me why you should pop in. As you can see, the best point in the country, and the company. <laughs> 